my name is Matt, and this is my gun range. And you know how you have these little tempered glass things that go on the front of a cell phone. The reason is so this thing will break before your cell phone screen breaks. But then I was wondering, like, how strong are they? Can they stop a bullet? And if not, how many would it take to technically stop a bullet and protect your cell phone? So we're here today to find out. I bought a bunch of them. Also, uh, I got a new gun. It's a little SBR. It's full auto. No big deal. It's a BB gun. So it straight up shoots little BBs just like your Red Rider, but it shoots them full auto. And we have a trigger cam as well, so I just kind of want to see what this looks like. See if we can catch them. I'm going to turn this thing on. This is a little camera that mounts to guns, which we're just trying out something new today. See if we can make it work. Let's do semi-auto. And then you can flip it over to full. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to set up one glass screen protector and we're gonna shoot one BB at it to see if it would protect your cell phone. So we have a single screen protector here and this is tempered glass, super thin. As you guys know, everybody's seen these things. We're gonna shoot at the BB, see what happens, see if a BB goes straight through it or if it stops, if it breaks, if it would save your iPhone or not. Man, it's really hard to see, it's invisible. I see it now. Yeah, BB went straight through, would definitely have cracked the screen on your iPhone. Okay, you can see that tempered glass. So this has another layer next to it, so it has like a film on it to hold it all together, but you can see when you hit something that's tempered, it sends little spider cracks through the whole thing crazy. So here I have stuck 10 together. So this is 10 screen protectors all stuck on each other and then theoretically you would stick this onto your phone. Would it stop a BB? I actually have another 10 right here. We did this twice. But that second 10 is going to emulate us having a cell phone back here. This is when we're actually going to shoot. So I'm going to shoot this, see if it goes through these 10 and cracks our cell phone screen behind it. That's the plan. I think it's going to break the first 10, not touch the second. Dang, they did better than I thought. Wow, you can kind of see they're different colors right there. It looks like we broke the top three. Yeah, look at that. So a BB stopped with three screen protectors. So you could put three screen protectors on your cell phone and then shoot it with a BB gun. And this thing is like a CO2. That's like a powerful BB gun. Now, how many screen protectors would it take to stop an actual gunpowder fired bullet? We have the Uzi chambered in 22 long rifle. It's actually a really fun gun. And I have another fresh set of 10 that will be blocking our phone, which is another set of 10. So we're gonna shoot it just like that and see if the 22 will be stopped in this pile of 10 tempered glass screen protectors. <laughs> Jeez. That's our first one for sure. It went straight through, perfect hole, and looks like it did the same to the back ones. Yeah, that's not good at all. This was 20, and it went through every single one. Man, we're gonna have to really step it up to stop a real bullet. Okay, now we are going to try a little more. This is 50 screen protectors all stuck together. I'm actually, I'm not going to put it in the vise because I think that's going to tweak it. I'm going to, I'm just going to set this one up like this, actually like that, so it doesn't fall and hit the vise and crack. I just, I'm worried it's going to, just the force will crack these things. So let's do that. 22 long rifle versus 50. I'm thinking this will stop. I'm thinking it will not come out the back, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below if you think that 50 screen protectors will stop a 22 long rifle. going to try to not hit my GoPro. Kind of weird that it threw it back this way, but it did stop. I bet that's the back one. I don't know. Let's figure this out. Oh, wow. There's a ton that are not hurt. That one got hit. These got hit. I'm going to try to put these in order, and we'll be right back. So you can see the light ones. They're lighter because they have spider cracks all in them, so these were not hit back here. So probably... Man, it probably hit half of them, so I would say 
about 25 it took to stop that, but our 22 is still in there, so check this out. There's our 22 long rifle, right there. So it actually only stopped, it, the bullet is still at about 10, but that is our 22 long rifle bullet totally smashed on that tempered glass. So now I guess we'll go to a bigger caliber and see if a bigger caliber would stop with 50 of these. So technically if you had 50 screen protectors on your phone and someone shot you with a 22, your phone would still be fine. Just, that's pretty cool. Next up, big boy caliber. This thing's huge. That's a 380 giant bullet. Everybody knows it's one of the one of the biggest bullets around. It technically is classified as a real gun caliber, but no one actually really likes this caliber. Okay, it's smaller than a nine millimeter. Uh, pfft, oh, I gotta show you this, forgot. We uh, lined up a ton here. This is all the rest of the ones we have because I'm not confident. And then we actually have a working cell phone right here. So this is a cell phone that does turn on, it does work, the screen works, the cell phone works. We are going to see if all of these screen protectors can protect it from a 380 ACP. I don't know. All right. Ugh. I'm gonna try to not hit my GoPro again. Let's GoPros. Let's see if the GoPro will have a lucky day two times in a row. That's very lucky for the GoPro. Just a light primer strike. Okay, let's try, let's try one more time. Okay, let's uh, let's try a different round. Okay, got a a new round, 380. Let's see if this one actually fires at our phone cases. Definitely did not go through to our phone. Okay, here's our bullet. Right there, that's pretty sweet. Let's try to figure out what happened here. That's the BBs from earlier. Man, we barely hit anything. Are there more? Weird. This is like this. Yeah, it looks like it was like this, and it went in here and stopped on like the twelfth one. Super weird. I'm gonna have little glass fragments all in my fingers just for you guys. You're welcome. I mean, that's our 380 totally smashed right there. There it is. Okay, that was a Full Metal Jacket 380 that totally flattened out on the glass, and we still have tons left. Let's step it up to a nine millimeter. Next up is a nine millimeter. This is the Terran Tactical Glock 17L chambered in nine mil. And uh, nine's going way faster. This is a real caliber, 380. Hard to say it's a real caliber. Nine millimeter for sure is. And after seeing what 380 did, psh, these things are pretty impressive. So I think we are not going to hit the phone with this nine millimeter. I love that it throws them back here. It makes it way easier for us. We can just go, yep, went through those. Okay, so this is how it was. Went through these first, about 10 there. This is the next, looks like about 10. And our bullet is actually stuck in there and then it looks like it broke one there. <laughs> Crazy, so obviously having them stacked adds a bunch of extra strength to it because our 22 went through 20 screen protectors, and this is stopping in 20, and it's a much more powerful bullet, which means, I bet, if we only had 20, the nine would go straight through everything. But, I mean, that's what we're doing. You would stack them like this on your phone, so how many do we need to stack? Obviously, if you stack 20 up, you will protect your phone from a nine millimeter. So let's do something a little more powerful. Enough messing around, we're gonna do this one. And you're like, Matt, is that a 500 magnet? No, it's actually a 22 but it's a 22 Hornet. For those who don't know, 22 Hornet is giant. Much more powerful than a 22, much more powerful than a 22 long rifle. It's a center fire cartridge, and uh, it's going very, very fast. Speed, I think, will help us to get through more of these things. So we're gonna see what a 22 Hornet will do when going against these screen protectors. I think it's gonna actually do exactly what the nine did, though. I mean, you gotta think, it's going faster, like a lot faster, but it's a lot lighter. Hit me with stuff. I threw a lot back. You okay, cameraman? 
We're good. We're all good here. All right, this one's super, super weird. We're going to need some scientists to help on this one. Uh, I thought maybe I had missed because we have a whole section here of untouched screen protectors. But then back here, they're cracked and our phone is cracked. So we'll start with these. Right, we collected these. These curled ones are all the ones that flew back that way. They're all shattered. Um, that was probably one of the first few. Went straight through. Right in there. These went straight through as well. There's a little bit of lead on that one. These went straight through. There's a lot of our bullet right here. That's copper and lead. This one also has bullet. This is actually, I think, getting toward the end. Um, yeah, so the inside, this is the inside. It was like this. So for some reason, it's bulging back that way, which I guess that makes sense why it throws it all at us, because it's pushing back. So it punches, basically just punches super hard right here, throws all of these out this direction, and nothing was penetrated past this. But this screen, this is actually kind of interesting right here. If you look here, the light colored ones are totally shattered. The dark ones are not. So it goes light, light, dark, dark, and then another light one. So one like five in got shattered. We'll pull those off so you can see them. So first one shattered, second one shattered, right? And then we have two that are, actually that one is shattered. Are they both shattered? No, see that one's good. Oh, there's three there. Two are not shattered, one is shattered, and then this one behind it is really, really shattered. And then all of these are good up until about right, oh no, there's a bunch that are cracked there too. So these are fine. These are totally good. All, I mean, you can see, they're all clear, not broken. I mean, there's probably close to 20 there, not broken. The back of this one, there's a few broken ones in here. There's a small crack in that one. There's a small crack in that one. All these are not broken. But then they start breaking again. All these right here, broken, and then right here, not broken, and then you get back to these, and they're all broken, and you can see this big ring here. So basically, well, okay, there's another one. These are not broken. Okay, yeah, all those are not broken. This just seems totally random. But then down here, they're all very broken. This is at the very end. After like a hundred screens, they all start breaking again. Very smashed. And then once you get here, I mean, you can see they're all broken. Then we had one screen protector that was actually hooked to our phone. It's very broken. And then our screen on the, oh, no, that's another screen protector. Also very broken. And then you get to our actual screen. Come on, phone, turn on. Oh, it's, it's still on. I need to see the time. Ah, it works, up here, I can use the top half. So, we had uh, hundreds of screen protectors on here and somehow it still broke it at the very end. Like there were some shock waves that carried all the way through there and then shattered our screen. How? Help me explain this. I wanted to let you guys know we did the Demolition Gun Store blowout the other day at Montekima Firearms and it was great. We had a bunch of people come out, Donut, a bunch of my friends come out and we wanted to sell all the guns in this gun store in one day. We sold most of them. We did not complete the task. But I thought this was super fun and we want to do it again. So we are actually going to do it again at Apache Rifle Works, a different gun store. It's in Comfort, Texas. We're doing it September 18th. The other one we gave you like two days notice. This one you've got like a few weeks notice. So you're good to go. You can be there. And the goal is to sell every single gun in the gun store. Now the problem is this gun store is multiple times bigger than the last one. A lot more guns in it. But I have assembled an all-star team. It will be me. Kentucky Ballistics, Garand Thumb, who has never been on this channel before, he's coming out. We're also going to have Bill Goldberg from WWE. We're also going to have Robert O'Burst, World Class Strongman. And the last one is Cy Robertson. Uncle Cy from Duck Dynasty will be there. And we will be the gun salesman behind the counter selling you guys the gun. So only come if you want to buy a gun because we're going to be working really hard to get all these things sold and it's gonna be a crazy madhouse and we just wanna help this gun store out. We're not getting paid anything for this, we're just doing it for fun, it's gonna be awesome. So, September 18th, Comfort, Texas, come on, come buy a gun from your favorite gun salesman in the whole world. Also, any uh, physics professors out there know what the heck happened? Let me know, comment below. Thanks for watching Nibble the Ranch, I love you! And I'll see you next time. Contact line!
It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor. 